It's story time, it's story time, it's story time again. It's story time, it's story time, it's story time again. It's story time, it's story time, it's story time again. Get on your chairs, open your ears, it's story time again. So today's story we are going to be listening to the story of Goldilocks. So we're going to listen with our ears while auntie reads the story and then i'm going to show you some pictures of what is happening once upon a time there were three bears who lived in a house deep in the forest there was a great big and gruff bear there was a gentle middle-sized bear and there was also a dear little bear one fine morning Mummy Bear made some porridge for breakfast. She poured it into three bowls. So here we have Daddy Bear, Mummy Bear, and Baby Bear. And this is a porridge that Mummy Bear made. And she has one, two, three bowls in which she poured them in. She poured it into three different size bowls to cool. The three bears then set out for a walk in the forest. While they were gone, a little girl named Goldilocks knocked on their door. She had been out gathering flowers. When nobody answered, she peeped inside the house and saw the three bowls of porridge on the table. Goldilocks was very hungry. She tasted the steaming porridge in the big bowl. It was too hot. She then tasted the porridge in the middle-sized bowl. It was much too cold. Goldilocks then tasted the porridge in the little bowl. It was just right. And before she could stop herself, Goldilocks had eaten all the porridge in the little bowl. So she ate all the porridge in the little bowl. Goldilocks got tired after eating her porridge. She saw three chairs in the room. There was a great big chair for Daddy Bear. There was a medium sized chair for Mummy Bear. And there was a little chair for Baby Bear. Goldilocks sat down on the big chair, but it was much too hard. Then she sat on the medium-sized chair, but that was far too soft. When Goldilocks sat on the little chair, it was not hard or it was not soft. She found it was just right. So here is Goldilocks sitting on the big chair where she found it was too hard. Sorry, this is the big chair that was too hard. This is the chair that was too soft. And this chair was just right. But Goldilocks was much too big and heavy for such a little chair. It broke into pieces. Goldilocks picked herself up and then decided to go and see what was upstairs. So here we have the little chair that was broken and she's now going up the stairs to see what else she can find. She found three beds. Goldilocks was now very sleepy. So she tried to climb on the great big bed which belonged to Daddy Bear. It was too high. Next. Goldilocks lay down on the middle-sized bear bed which belonged to mommy bear. It was very soft and she sank down much too low. Oh, yawning. Goldilocks climbed into the little bed which belonged to baby bear. She found this bed was very cozy and snug and felt just right. Goldilocks was soon fast asleep, so she did not hear the three bears come back home. 
So this is Goldilocks here sleeping on Baby Bear's bed. Papa Bear looked into his big bowl. Somebody has been eating my porridge, he growled. Mummy Bear looked into her medium-sized bowl, with the spoon still resting in it. Somebody has been eating my porridge, she said in her middle-sized voice. When poor Baby Bear looked into his little bowl, he found it was empty. Somebody has been eating my porridge, he cried in his little squeaky voice, and it has all gone. Papa Bear went to his big chair. Somebody has been sitting in my chair, he growled in his big deep voice. And somebody has been sitting in my chair, said in her middle-sized voice, Mummy Bear. The pillows are all untidy. When Baby Bear looked for his chair, all he could see were broken pieces. His little eyes filled with tears. So this is baby bear here looking at his pieces of his chair and crying while mommy bear is fixing her pillows and daddy and daddy bear is, is sitting on his chair looked all over the room and under the table but they could not find anyone then they went up to look in the bedrooms daddy bear noticed that his pillows were all creased and untidy somebody has been sleeping in my bed he called in his gruff voice mommy bear saw that her bed was also rumpled somebody has been sleeping in my bed she said in her middle-sized voice baby bear looked at his bed he could hardly believe his own eyes there is somebody still sleeping in my bed he cried in his squeaky voice just then, Goldilocks opened her eyes and saw the three bears. So the three bears saw Goldilocks sleeping in Baby Bear's bed. With a cry, Goldilocks jumped out of the bed. She ran down the steps and out of the hood, out of the house and into the forest. Please stop, called the bears. We'll not harm you. But Goldilocks did not stop. She ran on through the forest until she was safe in her own house. Goldilocks never went to visit the three bears ever again. The end. So that was the story of Goldilocks. So I'm going to ask a few questions now to see what you remembered from the story. So my first question, I'm going to ask, how many bears lived in the house? So you can tell mummies and daddies how many bears lived in the house. What was the name of the girl who went into the bear's house? Can you remember her name? My third question is, what did mommy bear cook for the bears to eat? What did mommy bear cook for the bears to eat? And my fourth question for you today is from our story. Which bed was Goldilocks most comfortable sleeping in? Did she feel comfortable in mommy's bed? Mommy bear's bed? 